now it is time for Pop News It Live. is. Good morning to you morning. all and to you guys. We begin with Miley Cyrus stepping up for her man. When a trip to the hospital forced Liam Hemsworth to miss the premiere of his new movie, Isn't It Romantic? His adoring wife was right there for him, representing on the pink carpet, stunning in that red Valentino gown alongside Rebel Wilson. Liam writing about his sick day, quote, lucky I have the best girl in the world to represent for me. Thanks for the support, babe. I hope everyone enjoys this movie. So it turns out People Magazine is reporting that the actor is suffering from kidney stones. We wish you the best. That is not fun. And Miley posting about her man. It's hard for entertainers to put themselves before the project, but this time it was crucial. And we That's wish teamwork. Him. Yes. That's real teamwork. Teamwork Speed makes the recovery. dream work. Speed yep. recovery. Indeed. He was just here. What a nice man. Yeah. Uh, also in the news this morning, it's not a catch-22 for George Clooney, but that is the name of his new series. The movie star back on TV for the first time since ER with the new Hulu drama Catch-22. There he is in the first trailer for the limited series based on the classic 1961 novel. Clooney stars directs and executive produces the six parter. He says he doesn't care about the medium anymore. TV is doing great things and he obviously wants to be a part of it. Catch 22 premieres May 17th on Hulu. Yeah. And Eddie Murphy is coming to America again. <laughs> yes. The comedy legend who starred in the 1988 movie about a charming African prince who travels to New York to escape an arranged marriage is coming back in this untitled sequel. The script being written by blackish creator Kenya Barris, so that feels pretty darn good to me. Yeah, yep. Murphy will star and co-produce. The original, as you guys might remember, also starred Arsenio Hall and James <laughs> Earl Jones. That grossed nearly $300 million worldwide. No word yet on co-stars this time around, but this Coming to America sequel is coming to theaters in summer of 2020. And finally, batter up Garth Brooks. The country music legend is back on the field, this time joining his childhood favorites, the Pittsburgh Pirates, for spring training. This is the fourth training trip for Garth, having spent a week in years past with the Padres, the Mets, and the Kansas City Royals. Brooks is hitting the field again to mark the 20th anniversary of the Garth Brooks, Brooks Teammates for Kids Foundation, which pairs children with professional athletes. And don't look for Garth to quit his day job. He says he doesn't have great fielding, speed, or batting skills. <laughs> the only reason they let him on the field is because he's famous. <laughs> and doing great things for kids. So far, his charity has raised over $100 million. Wow. So GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.